After months of getting this motion into place, it happened on the floor of parliament today. Much of the debate has happened outside of the parliament house. However, the opposition had a lot to say on the floor of parliament. Parliament cannot undertake key functions. O'Neill does not allow parliament to debate national policies and issues. This present motion of vote of no confidence is an example. Basil said the 2016 national budget has not been debated and was passed on the floor of parliament. He raised the concerns of budget cuts to church-run health agencies and the underfunding of the Electoral Commission. Matters of PNG's annual GDP growth and the LNG projects were also questioned. The Prime Minister boasts of 9% annual GDP growth is a Giaman Tok Tok. Papua New Guinea's annual GDP growth is not 9% because they are not transparent with our economic figures. In response, the leader of government business, James Marape, told the House that they have reduced spending on non-essential areas and 90% of Alatawa code commitments have been achieved. Papua New Guinea must all rally up and leaders on this side of the House knows the importance of political stability. Right in the face of attracting Papua LNG, we are committed to providing that stability. That second LNG project is an 18 billion kina project, Mr. Speaker. We'll create 13,000 new jobs, as you ask for, because that goes directly towards ensuring the economy grows. The reality is our government, Mr. Speaker, led by Peter O'Neill, is managing the economy. We have reduced spending. Talk about stopping checks. We have reduced spending. And that is not a secret thing to do. That is a tool of government. That is a tool of government. We reduce spending on non-essential areas. In light of the recent unrest by students, Basil said there was lack of parliament debates on these issues with no constructive answers given to the public. Vasenata Yama, National MTV News.